The range selector knob is found on the primary flight display, or PFD, and the multifunction display, or MFD. The PFD range selector knob interacts with the PFD inset map, while the MFD range selector knob interacts with the navigation map. The zoom range goes from 2,000 miles to 500 feet in a real Garmin G1000 system. The knobs function the same way on each map, so we will focus on the larger map in the MFD. Rotating the knob to the right will zoom out. Rotating the knob to the left will zoom in. As you zoom out or in, notice in the lower right corner of the map, you will see the area of coverage for a particular zoom range. The largest range in this simulator seems to only go to 200 nautical miles and not 2,000 nautical miles, and down to 0.5 nautical miles or one half of one nautical mile, not 500 feet. Therefore, we have the following ranges. 200 nautical miles, 150 nautical miles, 100 nautical miles, 50 nautical miles, 35 nautical miles, 20 nautical miles, 15 nautical miles, 10 nautical miles, five nautical miles, three nautical miles, two nautical miles, one nautical mile, and finally 0.5 nautical miles. The maps default to centering the aircraft's location, but it does have mouse pointer capability. In a real world G1000 system, the ability to pan with the pointer is controlled with the knob's joystick-like functions. This panning feature is activated by pushing in the knob. Pushing the selector knob in the direction of one of the arrows will move the pointer in that direction. I will move the mouse pointer up in the simulator by clicking the up arrow with the mouse. Holding your mouse's left button down will cause the pointer to move faster in the direction you want it to go. Once done, pressing the knob in will cause the map to center back on the plane. If you do not see the inset map on the PFD, press the inset soft key and the map should display. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.